Welcome to this video. This is your instructor Adam Askenfu from SuperSQA.com. This video is part of courses related to Python and QA automation. Check out the description below for more detail and some super deals. And don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons. Alright, so in this video we're going to see how to install Python on a Windows machine. We are going to install two different versions of Python, Python 2 and Python 3, both of them on the same machine. Uh, so the first thing to do is to set, to see if you already have Python or not. So the best thing to do that is open your command prompt cmd and type where Python. So the where command, if you don't know it, is basically where, where I say where Python is checking where is Python installed. So it's going to look through the system path and tell me wherever it finds Python. In this case, it gave me this installation of Python. It must have come with the default Windows. This is a fresh installation of Windows. But it doesn't really work. If I try to run this, uh, I have no clue what what it is. If I just do this in dash uppercase B to get the version, nothing. So I don't know what that is, but basically what this is telling me is I do not have Python. If I do where Python 3, I get the same thing, which doesn't work. Uh, if I do where Python 2, and it doesn't even find that. So. Technically, I don't have Python. If I just type Python and hit enter, it's not going to open. It should have opened the Python interpreter, but it's actually opening the store in the state. So you can install Python from here, but I'm just going to use the most common way is to go to the actual Python website, click on downloads, and I'm going to select my system, which is Windows. So let's let's select Python 3 first. If, if you're on the same boat, you don't have it in your system, Whatever you install first is going to be the default. So go ahead and install Python 3 going forward. This is 2020, uh, starting from 2020, Python 2 is not supported. It doesn't mean it's not going to work. It's actually super popular. It's being used everywhere. Like not everybody's going to convert to Python 3 that quick. So, but if you're going to start fresh, might as well start from Python 3. And if you're brand new, it makes no difference in terms of learning the programming language. All right, so let's uh, click on Python 3 right here. Scroll down until you find the installer that you want to use. So I'm going to select the 64-bit executable installer. I'm going to click on Run. Should open up a little window to install Python. There you go. All right, so you can keep the default installation, but I suggest you do customize installation because it will do a little, a little more things that you would have to do later on manually. Keep everything checked. Click on Next. Here is the important step. The first thing is I click on Add Python to Environment Variables. If you don't do this later on after you install it, you're going to have to add it to uh, Environment Variables. Uh, the other thing is the location. This location, if you want to keep it, you can do it. You can keep it or you can just uh, customize it. Or you can just click on Install for All Users and that will just change the, the location and it will put it under Program Files. That's what I like to do. And I'm just going to click on install, approve, and wait for it to finish installing. All right, so I finished installing, and it gives me this message. And that's about it. There's nothing else I need to do. I just close this, go back to the command line. But we need to restart it. If I do where Python, oh, I, I guess we don't need to restart it. So now you see earlier we only saw one. Now we see two. And this one is obviously the one we installed. So if we do Python dash version, we know that's one. That's the one uh, we just installed. I just click on Python and enter. It puts me into the interpreter. Okay. Now let's install Python two. If I still do where Python two, uh, I don't see anything else. So back to the website and back one more step and uh, python 2 right here select your appropriate os uh, let's just click on 64 msi installer click on run and wait for it all right looks like it opened a little window installation window uh, install for all users okay same thing we did earlier please select a directory python is, is going to put it right under uh, c we can we can change it if we like but let's just keep it there click on next everything else here is next approve and wait for it to install this one should be a little bit faster than the python 3. all right looks like it is done finished 
All right, so Python 2 is installed, specifically Python 2.7. Let's see if it's working. So I'm back at the terminal, and if I just do where Python, I still see the same result as earlier. Uh, just ignore the last one. Uh, that's the one that just came with the computer, but it doesn't really work. Uh, so I see Python 3. That's the one we installed, but I still don't see Python 2. If I just type Python-V, obviously it's going to give me the same one it finds in the path. So it's going to be 3A. If I do Python 2, net 10, Python 2, 7, net 10. What this means is most likely it was not added to the path because if it was added to the path, the where command should have found it. All right. So let's go find our paths. All you have to do is just search for paths if you want or system or anything. And you're going to get this edit the system environment, um, the system environment variables. So paths is one of those variables. So in this little window, click on environment variables. We saw how to do this earlier. All right, so let's look at the path for the system, not for the user, but for the system. And let's click on edit. And we see the two folders for Python are for Python 3 are in here, but we don't see it for Python 2. So even though when we installed it, we specifically say to add it to path, but it did not do it. So let's go find where we had our Python installed. We had it right under the C, this Python 27 folder. Let's go copy this whole thing. Uh, let me do this, copy, and back to here. Let's add a new one. And let's add it. Okay, let's add one more because we also want the scripts because this is where pip and everything else is sitting for Python 2.7. And we noticed when we automatically did it for Python 3, it automatically added those, uh, those variables, right? So I had it open. Why did it close it? Okay, we can still do edit. All right, so add new, paste it, but let's just add scripts. Okay, and that is okay, and okay, and okay. Now we do where Python still the same thing. Sometimes you have to close the terminal and open it, but with the latest version of uh, Windows, you didn't have to, uh, but let's do that this time. All right, I guess we did have to close the terminal. Now, when we do where Python, we can see uh, we have both the first one, the Python 3, and the second one, Python 2. The problem is when you specify, when you want to run Python now, how do you do it? Because if you just do Python, all right, and hit enter, by default, it's going to find the first one, which is 3.8. And it does not know anything about Python 2 or Python 2.7, right? It doesn't know anything about it. So I will show you a little trick what you want to do. Otherwise, you're going to have to type in this entire path every time you want to use specifically Python 2. But what you want to do is go back to your installation folder. This is this Python. That is the one. That's the actual executable that's going to run the, the Python interpreter. So let's rename it to Python 2, right? If we just as easy as renaming it to Python 2. So uh, uh, let's see. Uh, so now if I do Python 2, now we should know where Python 2 exists and is opening. Uh, to seven, so we are good to go. So if you want to use Python, Python three, you just type in Python because that's the default one. Or if you want to use Python two, you type in Python two. If you want to be able to specifically type in Python three, then you do the same thing. You would go back to the Python three installation uh, under here, and there is a Python, and just rename this Python to Python three. But I wouldn't do that. I'll leave Python as default and Python two because I'm, it's rarely that I'm going to use Python 2. I'm going to use Python 3 for the most cases. Python 2 for me is going to be when I'm testing out old code, when I'm getting it, I'm trying to use a public library that doesn't support Python 3 yet, then you want to have option of uh, using Python 2. All right, so this is how you install both versions of Python on a Windows machine.